and website announcement bar. So just to give you a quick little demo of it, we have it installed on the sample site here. So if we head on over into the design settings, uh, if you have this add-on installed, you'll see a brand new section in the main design settings um, page that says website announcement bar. So if we go ahead and open that up, you can see all of these new, brand new design settings uh, specifically for this add-on. So just to go through this really quickly, um, we can make a red uh, announcement bar and we'll make the text on it white. Uh, we can choose the font family. So let's just choose a random one here. We can also choose the font size, the text position, left, right, or centered. In most cases, you'll probably want it centered. It looks um, a little bit more clean that way. You can also choose to hide this on mobile devices. That's a great uh, feature to have. Uh, on mobile devices, screen real estate is really important uh, to use it well. Um, and so oftentimes maybe the announcement isn't so important where you want it to show uh, for all of your visitors, whether they're visiting your site on a computer, a tablet, a smartphone. So sometimes you may wanna hide your announcement on mobile devices, you can do that here. You can also choose when to display this announcement bar. So if a member is logged in, you can choose to display it. If they're not logged in, you can choose to always display it. Or if you want to hide it for a while, you can do that as well through this one option here. In this text area, we can put in the announcement bar text. Uh, for this example, Father's Day is coming up and it's also graduation season. So let's go ahead and make a promotion for dads and grads promo. And we can do 30% off. And then we can choose where we want this announcement to link to. Uh, in this case, we'd probably want to link to our pricing page. So we'll go ahead and copy our pricing page URL. and We'll just paste that in there. And now we can choose the text for our link. So in this example, let's go ahead and choose um, claim discount. Again, same as for the announcement bar as a whole, we can choose the link's background color as well as the text color. So to make it stand out on the red, let's go ahead and choose blue and we'll stick with the white text color. And we can also choose to open this link in a new tab or not. In this case, we'll choose to open it in a new tab. So we'll save these changes. And once these changes are applied, we'll go ahead and refresh our sample site. So we'll head back to the homepage. Uh, David, what was the setting for always show, when, when to show it? Was it set uh, to always hide? There we go, it's set to always hide. So let's do always display. There we go. Nice catch there. So we'll save these changes once again. And now you can see the announcement bar is showing on the top of the site. So that was actually a good demonstration showing how the uh, display setting works. So you can see the text we put in, the color settings, and here's that link button. So if we go ahead and click this, you can see our pricing page opens in a brand new tab. So this add-on, uh, it's really great if you have any discounts or promotions that you want to make visitors aware of. If you have any new products or services to promote, uh, you can link to your newest blog post, you can promote any upcoming events, or maybe you have just some general news about your uh, uh, website, your community. Uh, maybe you received a new award that you want to bring to people's attention. You can link to all of that through this announcement bar add-on. David, I want to I say, I know you randomly chose the font and the colors. It really looks stunning on, on this site like this, um, and it really stands out real, real nicely. And you brought up a, a few good points here. You can use it to promote discounts uh, or promos. You can link to a news article. Um, you can um, you know, link to an event that might be happening or, or an award that you've, you might have won. You can also sell that as ad space. And maybe you have a, a featured weekly member. Um, you, know, you can use HTML code where you wrote dads and grads promo. So you could put an image there of a member's face and link to that member's profile or a business's profile 
um, in the header there. So that, that can also be valuable uh, real estate for, for ad space. Yeah, that's a good point, especially since this link, you can, you can put in any URL you want, whether it's on your site or an external website. So you can link to anywhere you want with this. That's great. Thanks for showing that off.